This is Mrs. Lowe from Second Creek. I'd like to share with you one of my favorite Christmas and Hanukkah stories. It reminds me a lot about my house when I was growing up as a child. You see, my father was Jewish and my mother is Catholic. So we had an opportunity to share in lots of celebrations. One of the stories I'm going to read for you is Light the Lights, a story about celebrating Hanukkah and Christmas. It's written by Margaret Mormon. Oops. <clears throat> it happened the same way every winter when the world grew cold and the afternoons became dark long before dinner time. One morning, Emma's father raised the shades in her room and said, Sweetheart, tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. Time to get out the menorah. After breakfast, Emma helped him take the old silver menorah out of the cabinet in the dining room. They unwrapped it carefully, then polished it with soft cloths and pink cream until it gleamed. That evening at sundown, Emma's father sang the ancient blessing. Her mother steadied Emma's hand to help her pass the flame from the shamus candle to the first Hanukkah candle. Every night for a week and a day, they added another candle. Emma's father would say, let's light the lights, and the ceremony would begin. The menorah sat on a table by the living room window where all the people rushing home from work and all the neighbors up and down the street could catch a glimpse of it. Some nights, Emma watched until the candles burned down to their holders. On the fourth night, Uncle Ken and Aunt Bessie came to Emma's house with their cousins, Sam and Kate. There are strange lumps in my coat pocket, Uncle Ken complained. Emma and Sam reached in and pulled out pouches of Hanukkah gelt. Peeling back the wrappers of the fat gold coins, they found sweet milk chocolate inside. Kate was too little to play the dreidel, <clears throat> but, <clears throat> but she liked to watch Sam and Emma spin the top. When it was time for dinner, Kate tasted her first latkes, the crisp potato pancakes made especially for Hanukkah. Grandma Rose came to celebrate the eighth night. She and Emma danced together hand in hand. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah, they sang. At last the candles were lit. The full menorah looked so beautiful, reflected to, in the dark panes of the window. Then one day, Emma's mother pulled down boxes of Christmas ornaments from the top shelf of the closet. Well, Pumpkin, shall we pick out the Christmas tree this morning? She asked. Emma put on her jacket, boots and scarf, mittens and went outside with her parents to search for the perfect tree. Last year, Emma had picked a short, fat, bushy one. This year, she chose a tall one with a branch at the top that was skinny and straight, just right for the ornament Emma liked best, the fragile glass star. The tree was heavy, so Emma helped her mother and father carry it home. They all sang Merry, said Merry Christmas to their neighbor, Anne. Her dog, Fluffy, was wearing a new red jacket. He opened his present early, Anne said. After lunch, Emma's friends, Natalia and Patrick, came over to help trim the tree. Emma's mother set out cups of hot chocolate and a tray of Christmas cookies. There were gingerbread men, sugar cookies shaped like trees and reindeer, and little white powdery balls with nuts inside.
Emma's father played the piano, and everyone sang Joy to the World. Emma knew the whole tune and most of the words by heart. When all of the decorations were out of the boxes and on the tree, Emma's mother said, let's light the lights. Every bough sparkled with silvery tinsel and shiny glass balls. On Christmas Eve, while Emma was sleeping in the dark house, Santa Claus came quietly and left presents under the tree. He also turned on the lights for Christmas morning. How did he know Emma would wake up early before dawn? After the holidays, Emma helped wrap the Hanukkah menorah and the Christmas ornaments and put them away for next year. But she remembered the bright winter lights and the dark winter nights for a long, long time. Wishing all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. Please share in the joy of the season with all of your family. God bless.